If you want to know the best psychological thriller movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. I want to know how you killed them. And I want to know if they knew it was happening to them. I want to know what they felt. I want to know if they hurt. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. I made 2,000 in a day. Next day, 7,500. It was too slow. I need more capital. Limitless is a science fiction thriller film directed by Neil Berger and stars Bradley Cooper, Abby Cornish, and Robert De Niro. Defined by a powerfully charismatic cast and exciting visuals, Limitless follows a struggling writer who is introduced to a nootropic drug called NZT, which gives him the ability to fully utilize his brain and vastly improve his lifestyle. Now rising to the top of the financial world, he soon draws attention to his genius that puts him in a new world with lots of dangers. You understand? If you don't pay, you know what we do? I cut you at waist. Peel your skin up over your head and tie a knot in it. You don't die from this. You suffocate. Okay. Good luck. Number nine. It's okay. Don't get out the car. I'm not getting out of the car, sweetheart. Nocturnal Animals is a 2016 neo-noir psychological thriller film written, produced, and directed by Tom Ford and stars Amy Adams, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Shannon, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Isla Fisher. Susan Morrow is an elegant gallery owner from Los Angeles and married to a successful businessman. The mess, however, is all inside. When she receives a manuscript of a novel written by her first husband, the gritty content of the novel strikes a chord with her, and she starts to remember the times they had together. Must have busted when you were shoving us off the road. Oh, come we didn't on. shove oh, you off the road, you shoved us off the road. Shame, it's a lie. I think I'm a liar. It's okay. It's okay. Number eight. Me he dicho eso. Sé que me miras. The Skin I Live In is a 2011 Spanish psychological thriller drama film written and directed by Pedro Almodovar, and stars Antonio Banderas, Elena Anaya, Marissa Paredes, and Jan Cornett. A splendid plastic surgeon, haunted by the ghosts of his past failures and disasters, makes a type of synthetic skin that has the ability to withstand any sort of harm. His guinea pig, a puzzling and unpredictable lady who holds the way into his fixation. In his determination to pull off this experiment, he forgets what playing God can lead to. Number seven. Do you have a name? Yes. Ava. Ex Machina is a 2014 science fiction film written and directed by Alex Garland and stars Domna Gleason, Alicia Vikander, and Oscar Isaac. Caleb, a programmer for the world's largest internet company, wins a competition to spend a week at a private mountain retreat belonging to Nathan, the company's CEO. But when Caleb arrives at the remote location, he has to take part in a strange and fascinating experiment in which he has to interact with the world's first real artificial intelligence, housed in the body of a beautiful robot girl. So we need to break the ice. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes. What do I mean? Overcome initial social awkwardness. So let's have a conversation. Number six. I've just had no interest. The chores have become my sanctuary. Get Out is a 2017 horror film written and directed by Jordan Peele and stars Daniel Kaluuya, Allison Williams, Bradley Whitford, Caleb Landry Jones, and Katherine Keener. Successfully reaching the meet the parent stage of their relationship, Rose invites Chris to her parents' upstate for a weekend getaway. From the outset, Chris reads the family's excessively pleasant attitude as apprehensive attempts to manage their daughter's interracial relationship. However, as the end of the week advances, a progression of progressively upsetting disclosures leads him to a truth he could have never envisioned. Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! 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 Chill, man. Get out! Chill! Number five. Open 
I Saw the Devil is a 2010 South Korean thriller film directed by Kim Ji-won and stars Lee Byung-hun and Choi Min-sik. The movie follows NIS specialist Kim Soo-hyun as he sets out on a mission of retribution after his life partner is ruthlessly killed by a psychopathic sequential killer. Fixated on vengeance, Soo-hyun chooses to find the killer, regardless of whether doing so implies turning into a beast himself. The lines among good and evil fall away, pushing the idea of retribution to its most extraordinary breaking points. Number 4 The name of my company is Video Production News, a professional news gathering service. That's how it should be read and that's how it should be said. Nightcrawler is a 2014 neo-noir thriller film written and directed by Dan Gilroy and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Rene Russo, Riz Ahmed, and Bill Paxton. Set in the nocturnal underbelly of contemporary Los Angeles, this film focuses on Lou Bloom, a motivated young man who searches for work and discovers the high-speed world of Los Angeles criminal journalism. But aided by Nina, a veteran of the blood sport that is local TV news, Lou more and more blurs the line between observer and participant to become the star of his own story. When I say that I want these things, I mean that I want them, and I don't want to have to ask again. Number 3 Big day's getting closer and closer, huh? Well, I can't wait. I think you're going to be amazing. Black Swan is a 2010 psychological horror film directed by Darren Aronofsky and starring Natalie Portman, Vincent Castle, and Mila Kunis. The story revolves around the production of a ballet in which a ballerina has to play the innocent and fragile white swan as well as the dark and sensual black swan. Nina is overwhelmed by a feeling of immense pressure when she finds herself competing for the part with Lily, causing her to lose control of reality and spiral into a nightmare. Please stop. How about I dance the black swan for you? Leave me alone! Number 2 Go slowly. Gone Girl is a 2014 psychological thriller film directed by David Fincher and stars Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, Neil Patrick Harris, and Tyler Perry. The film reveals the secrets of a modern marriage. On his fifth wedding anniversary, Nick Dunn reports that his beautiful wife Amy has disappeared. Under the pressure from the police and a growing media frenzy, Nick's portrait of a happy union begins to crumble. Soon, he sees the spotlight turned on him when it's suspected that he may not be innocent. You're delusional. I mean, you're insane. Why would you even want this? Yes, I loved you, and then all we did was resent each other and try to control each other and cause each other pain. That's marriage. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. And in those last weeks, she was covered. Her whole face. I could barely see her eyes. And I, tr I tried to comfort her, but I could hardly look at her, and she saw that. Come to this rock, play in the tough. You make me laugh with your false grum. You pretended to some mystery in your quietudes, but there ain't no mystery. Looks like someone's having a nice day. Enjoying yourself? Sorry. <laughs> I hope you rot in hell, you fucking bitch! Number one. You're my new partner. That's right. Not the best way to meet with my head halfway down the toilet. Shutter Island is a 2010 American psychological thriller film directed by Martin Scorsese and written by Laeta Caligridis, based on Dennis Lehane's 2003 novel of the same name. Leonardo DiCaprio portrays a U.S. Marshal who investigates, with his colleague, a shocking psychiatric ward. Mysterious incidents, twists and turns will keep you on the edge of your seat in every second. It is a remarkable tale of finding nuances inside the walls of a labyrinth of a mental institute hiding a murderer. We came in for Rachel Solanda. Where was one shred of evidence she even existed? There's no way they 
could have known I'd be assigned to this case. There's no way. Well, you were looking into them. They were looking into you. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.